Hi everybody, we are in Clay Center. We are at the Clay County Historical Society and we are learning more about the tractors that they have here. Jerry Schmidt is here now and it's good to see you, Jerry. Yes, good to see you. Yeah. Glad you could make it. We've been here before, but it seems like you keep adding or more things show up here. Yes, we've added about six or eight and this is some of Forrest Pence collection. Remind us again who Forrest Pence oh, was. Forrest Pence farmed on the north side of Harvard and as a young boy his dad sold a steam engine and he said when it left the yard someday I'll own as many of those as I want. And I think he told me one time he had traded, bought and traded over 60 steam engines in his lifetime. And then you eventually came I retired from being an elevator manager and a grain broker, and I used to work with him part-time. And then when I retired, I think he thought I was the hired man. So he left that collection to me. Do you have most of the collection? Is it most it, of it on, in here? Most of it's here, Most yes. here in this well, museum. Yeah. What is new? What are some of the newer items? Well, the newer items is the big 30, and it's a 30 horse. It's kind of unique because there isn't a lot of 30s left. This one is kind of unique because Forrest's dad and uncle actually went to Peoria, Illinois and bought the steam engine. So then the next one down would be the 20. That's a 20 horse. And it's, again, it's a top mount. Those were good because you could, uh, using them on thrash machine or sawmills, you could service that engine without climbing up on it. And then to go on down, we have the 2550 gas tractor, and it's been in the shed for 30 years that I know of. And then the next one would be the 4080 Avery. That's the tall one next. And that was bought down in Kansas. And the next one is the F Rumley. And I think we you've had the F Rumley before. The Townsend, that'd be the green, and it was bought at Air, Nebraska. There's only two of those that I know of in the existence of the 2550s. This 3060 is kind of unique because Clay County paper just came out the other day, and in 1914, Clay County bought two Altman Taylors, and guess what? Their sets won, so they had traded for them in 1914. And this is a 1923, so Clay County County seat's got its one of its old tractors back. And there's a small Avery right here, this 1915. It's an 816. It's the smallest one they made. Wow, so some new items, but a lot of old favorites here. Right. Thank you very much for showing us around, giving us an update on what's going on here at the museum. Thanks John, for being I here really today. John, I really appreciate you coming. Yeah, you bet.